In this video, we'll talk about creating your own library inside of GraphPad. GraphPad comes with some default libraries, for example, electrical symbols. But if you want to create your own library for distribution, all you have to do is hit the plus sign and type in the name of the library you want to create. We'll just call this My New Library. Hit save and my misspelled library is now available. To put objects in that library, all you have to do is go into the library where the object exists and we'll go to electrical symbols for example. Press on the symbol of interest and hit edit. You'll now have the ability to copy that over to your new library, my misspelled library, and just hit copy to. <clears throat> you can then edit those libraries, you can create other objects which will go into your my images or my objects library and copy them over. And the reason for this is simple. Behind the scenes, GraphPad is making default names. The problem is, is that those are the same default names that other users are creating. So when you want to distribute your objects, it's necessary to have them renamed. By creating your own library, it uses that library name in the naming convention for those entities. And so when you move them across, if they don't have a similarly named library, They'll just add them. However, if you just have my objects and my libraries and try and distribute those library entities, that's going to conflict with any objects that the other user has created. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You can create objects using text, etc. And it's very easy, as you've seen in other videos, to create. Just go into points, create a selection area, Hit copy group and you'll actually see you've got a create image, create object, create image, stores it inside the my images library. And again, you would just go to my images, go to the entity in question, and simply copy it over to your new, the library you created. And that's all there is to it. Thank you very much.